If you're a beginner painter out there and you suck at painting clouds, don't worry. I got you covered. My friend Tally is going to show you how to paint beautiful clouds just like this with acrylic paint. This is an awesome step-by-step -step tutorial that you don't want to miss. Gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm great at painting clouds in oil paint, but not the best when it comes to acrylic paint. But don't worry, my friend Tally is gonna show you how to make beautiful clouds that are super easy, fluffy, and they stand out. I made a butt ton of notes that's gonna help you out in the step-by-step -step guide. So without further ado, here we go. After you've dropped in your background color, we are gonna load a filbert brush with your darkest cloud color and pull your clouds down from the top of the crown towards the center of the cloud. This will create a nice, clean, defined top, but it'll allow you to build your cloud easily. Try your best to work in an upside down U motion. This is gonna allow you to build and layer huge fluffy clouds. Once you've created your base structure for your cloud with this dark color, we can now move on to our mid-tone colors. For Tally, it's a mixture of his darkest cloud color mixed with the blue sky. The reason he does this is it's going to allow him to achieve a natural depth that occurs in the painting. It's also gonna allow him to layer easily since he's taking these two colors and mixing them to a nice creamy texture, which makes it easier for him to layer on top of that dark color. When Tally's doing his midtones, he loves to fade his midtones from his lighter side to his darker side. The reason he does this is twofold. One, he defined his light source at the top right corner. So naturally the light source is gonna fade from right to left, creating depth within the painting. Number two is Tally likes to create what I call hyper surrealism. His clouds are gonna look natural, but it's also gonna create this unique focal point for when you look at it. Curious to what this means? Don't worry, you'll see it as we get a little further on in this tutorial. Now we can move on to our highlights in our cloud. Now grab a script liner brush and a dagger brush. Load your script liner with a thinned color highlight color. For Tally, it's a mixture of a very light purple color. Outline the top of your clouds. For Tally, he likes to use two methods. The first one is stippling your highlights in. This basically means that you're gonna take your script liner brush, which has a nice thin light purple paint on it, and basically create little dots next to each other. The reason he likes to do this is it gives him more control of how he can outline his cloud for a couple of steps coming up here in just a moment. Also, the nice thing about stippling with your highlights is it will create more of a concentration of color, basically looking like more light hit a dense part of a cloud. The second technique that Tally likes to use is outlining with his highlights. This will create natural ridges of light that allows you to form your clouds into different shapes. Now Tally will switch back and forth between these two techniques depending on what he wants to do in his cloud. But one thing he does with each one of these techniques is he likes to take his dagger brush, a clean dagger brush, and pull down the highlights and fade them into the softer part of the cloud. This is gonna create more of a natural fade and give your cloud more defined characteristics. Once you've added in all your highlights, depending on what technique feels most comfortable for you and fade them in with a dagger brush, now we can work on specular highlights. If you're not sure what a specular highlight is, you can check out this video right here that'll show you how specular highlights can make your painting stand out even more. But if you're too lazy to watch that, hey, I get it. Essentially, a specular highlight is the brightest point in your painting element that's gonna be essentially pure white. Now, before we add our specular highlights, I really recommend that you allow the previous highlight layer to tacky up a little bit. Give it 10 to 15 minutes, which means you can concentrate on thinking about other elements in your painting. Think about the horizon or midground or where you wanna block in certain shapes. Or if you're like me, go ahead and crack a beer and you can enjoy your painting. I mean, after all, it should be an enjoyable time. Oh, making YouTube videos are so hard. I actually did that. I don't feel so good. It got everywhere, but can you believe I'm single, ladies? I know. Now, when it comes to adding specular highlights, we're just gonna repeat the same steps we did for our normal highlights. But what you wanna think about is where the sunlight or your source of light is hitting your cloud strongest because those are gonna be your brightest points in your cloud. 
So don't overdo it with specular highlights, kind of use them in little pieces, but really think about how that sunlight is coming across or your light source and add those particular pieces. Now, if you add a little too much of specular highlight, hey, the cool thing is you can go back with that clean dagger brush and fade them into your cloud and that's gonna add some natural characteristics to your cloud again. And I'm feeling like I got a little bit of a buzz, but you got the point. <laughs> With all these steps completed, you can either continue to build multiple layers of clouds or you can carry on creating an awesome landscape. And the cool part is Tally already went ahead and created an awesome step-by-step -step tutorial landscape painting that you can follow along with. This is perfect for new painters out there and beginners because we're gonna take you through the entire process. And this is all done with cheap and easy acrylic paint. Now, if you wanna check out this video, you can check it out over here in the top right corner, it's gonna be our next video that comes out. And if you see this video before it's there, hey, check out one of our older videos. But until then, enjoy your acrylic painting. And I'm gonna go grab another beer. I'll catch you later. Peace.